so uh, tutorial 11th we are in and here we are going to discuss the some problems based on uh, inductors voltage current power and energy relationship so the problem goes uh, like this the problem one find the current through a 5 henry inductor if the voltage across, across it is given by this relationship so you know that whenever we are dealing with ac circuit especially the inductors and the capacitors then the voltage current relationship undergoes the integral differential equation so we have to deal with the integration as well as we have to deal with the differentiation dv by dt or di by dt like that so that is only in the time domain so we are solving the problem in time domain when we go in frequency domain then the, the integral differential equation becomes the algebraic equation so that is an advantage of the frequency domain uh, but today's tutorial will be focusing much on the time domain only so let us see that determine the current through a 5 henry inductor the voltage equation for the time t greater than 0 and time t less than 0 is being given as 30 t square and 0 find the energy that is stored in the inductor at time t equal to 5 second that you have to determine let us see the solution so the general current equation for the inductor current is basically 1 by L integration of V dt from the lower limit of the time to the higher limit of the time. Now generally inductor can have some initial current which is represented with I t naught and this is the current for all time t after the switching instant has taken place. The inductor value is 5 Henry. So if I substitute uh, the voltage and the value of the inductor for all time t greater than 0 then I will be having the solution for the current as 2t cube and the unit is in ampere. So I can see that current is a function of time and the voltage is also a function of time. Now we know that the power is basically the product of voltage into current. So voltage is a function of time and current is also a function of time. We get the product as 60 into t to the power 5. Now if I want to determine the energy which is stored in the inductor, so the energy will basically be the integral of the power. So we have the power equation as 60 into t, uh, t to the power 5 which is integrated from 0 to 5 because we have to calculate uh, the energy at 5 second. The answer we uh, get as 156.25 kilojoule so this is the energy which is stored in the inductor at time t equal to 5 second alternatively what you can do is that instead of going by the product of voltage into current to determine the power and then integrating the power to find the energy we can find the energy directly by using the concept of half li square you know that the energy stored in the inductor is given by the relationship half li square now current is a function of time which we have already calculated so if i substitute the value of time in this equation is 5 i can get the energy which is 156.25 kilojoule so this answer or the method that we have adopted for power uh, from the power equation is also the same so you can uh, determine the energy either by this method or by this method. Both will give you the same answer. Next problem. Problem second, you have to determine uh, current is given to us. Now earlier the voltage was given. Now the current is given. Current is a function of time and the hen uh, inductor value is 0 0.1 Henry. You have to determine the voltage across the inductor and the energy stored in it. So let us see the solution. The equation for the voltage is equal to L di by dt. Okay, so here we are having a differential term for the voltage. When we try to find the current, we were having the integral term. Now we have been given the current equation, which is a function of time. So if I differentiate the current with respect to time to determine the voltage, I will be getting the solution as e to the power minus 5t 1 minus 5t. Now the voltage equation is a function of time. So if I need to determine the voltage at any value of the time, I can substitute the time here and here. So I'll get a voltage for any particular time. 
Now the energy which is stored in the inductor is half Li square which we have seen in the previous uh, problem also. Here we have got the current equation which is already given to us. So if I put that I will get the energy equation. So energy you can see is also a function of time. So if I want to determine the energy which is stored between 0 to any time t second then I can get it by substituting the value of time in this particular uh, solution. Problem 3. The voltage across a 2 Henry inductor is known to be given as 6 cos 5t. Determine the resulting inductor current if given a condition that the current at time t equal to minus pi by 2 is equal to 1 ampere. Now this is the voltage equation that is being given. You have to determine the uh, current under the condition that at time minus pi by 2 the current is 1 ampere. The value of the inductor is 2 n. So the general equation of the current I is 1 by L integration of voltage dt with the initial value of the current which is stored in the inductor I t naught. So if I integrate the voltage equation uh, substituting the value of initial to the final, I am getting a solution for the current I of t as three terms. Now let us see what are these three terms. So the first term here, if you see the first term here, what is this term? This term is basically the component of inductor current which is varying sinusoidally. Okay? And the second term and the third term, if you see it, here you have the T0 value, which is the initial time. So it is represented by a constant. This is only a constant, which becomes known when the current is numerically specified at some instant of time. So if I know the value of T0 at what time uh, the inductor switching was taken place, then I can determine this constant term. And this is sinusoidally varying with respect to time. Now given the fact that at time t equal to minus pi by 2 second the current was 1 ampere. So if I substitute the value of the time as minus pi by 2 then I will be getting this value of t naught and then I can have the equation of the current as the general equation uh, which is the uh, which is varying with respect to time t. So here we are getting a constant which is the current at the particular time t naught. So here t naught is minus pi by 2. Next problem, the terminal voltage of a 2 Henry inductor. So here we have the voltage equation that is being given to us. Find the current which is flowing through it at time t equal to 4 second and the energy stored in it at time t equal to 4 second. Assuming that the initial value of the current in the inductor is 2 Henry. So you have to determine the current, you have to determine the energy given the voltage and given the initial conditions. Now let us see the solution. So the given data here is the inductor, current, inductor value, the voltage equation and the initial value of the current. So we can substitute that in the current expression which is current having two components. One is the initial value and one is the general equation of the current with respect to time t. 1 by L integration of voltage with respect to time, then uh, we are getting the current equation as 2 plus 5t minus 2.5t square. So on integrating, we are getting the equation with respect to time t. Now, what is the value of the current at 4 second? So it means that this is the general equation of the current. So if I substitute the value of 4 second in this equation, I will get the current value as minus 18 ampere. Now note here, we are having a negative sign in the current value. What does it mean? It just means the sign that is the polarity of the current. So you know that we are dealing with sinusoidal quantity. So sinusoidal quantity will be varying like this, where we have the time and amplitude. So sometimes the amplitude will be negative and sometimes the amplitude will be positive. So if I want to know what is the magnitude of the current, so magnitude of the current will be 18 ampere only. Whereas the negative symbol just initially mean that it is the time varying quantity and at what polarity of the current, like what is the sign of the current. So if I take the sign like this, 
the current will be flowing like this because of the negative sign. Now the energy that we need to determine is basically the energy of half Li square. Now here we have the initial value of the current that we have to take into account. So general equation uh, we write always half Li square but this current uh, whatever we are taking here we have to take the final value minus the initial value. So we have to determine at 4 seconds. So 4 is the final value and 0 is the initial value. So we are getting 320 joule as the energy that is present in the inductor. Now uh, we have solved few problems directly based on the formulae. Now let us use the graph or the waveform concept uh, to solve some problems. Now here we have been given the waveform of the voltage or with respect to time for a 10 milli Henry inductor. So this is the applied voltage. You can see the applied voltage is varying with respect to time. You have to determine what is the current which is flowing through the inductor assuming that the initial current is 0 ampere at time t equal to 0 second. Now whenever you are getting uh, the problem based on the voltage waveform or the current waveform the usual process is you have to split this waveform into sub time domain. So you can see that from 0 to 1 second your uh, voltage is varying linearly. So you have to write one equation of the voltage for time uh, t equal to 0 to 1 second. From 1 to 2 second you can also write the equation of the line or the voltage uh, waveform. In this way you have to split uh, the time instant from 0 to 1 second and 1 to 2 second and then you can determine the amount of the current. So given data is we have two data given that is the value of the inductor and the initial current present in the inductor. Now the voltage distribution uh, is given to us how the voltage is distributed with respect to time. So these waveform uh, we will make use and we will split this waveform into three different time zones. One time zone is from time t equal to 0 to 1 second. Another time instant is from 1 to 2 second. And elsewhere means it is the time either uh, above 2 second or it is below 0 second any, anywhere. Right. So the equation of this straight line we can write as 5t. The equation of this line we can write as 5t minus 10. So we will be having the equation of this line and equation of this line from 0 to 1 second and 1 to 2 second. And elsewhere means all time t greater than 2 second or all time t less than uh, 0 second the voltage is basically 0. Now once we have got the voltage we can easily find the current from the general equation of current is equal to 1 by L integration of voltage. So we will be having the integration of voltage uh, and then 1 by L we have to divide. So we can uh, determine this current uh, similarly at different time instant from uh, T0 to 1 second the voltage was 5T. So now the current will become 250T square. Here we have 1 to 2 second the voltage is 5T minus 10. So the current is basically 1, mi one, uh, 1 thousand into 1 mi minus t plus 0 0.25 t square and elsewhere all the value of the voltage or the current are both 0. So given the voltage distribution waveform you have to obtain the current equation and in some case you have to plot the current also with respect to time. So current with respect to time waveform we can be obtained from this e equation. And uh, you can just split this time into different zones of this time and then you can obtain the current waveform. Uh, problem 6. Uh, here you have been given the current with respect to time. Note the unit is in millisecond. Unit is in ampere here for the current. So the inductor value is 5 milli Henry. You have to determine the voltage for different time instant. 1 second, 3 second and 5 millisecond. So similarly you can split this waveform into different time zones from 0 to 2 millisecond, 2 to 4 millisecond and 4 to 6 millisecond and elsewhere. So let us see that how to do that. Now this is the current waveform which has been given. So from this current waveform I can write down the equation 
of the current splitting it in three time zones from 0 to 2 second. So I first first division is from 0 to 2 second. This is the equation of a straight line which is 5t. From 2 to 4 second if I split it in this one we am getting a constant value of 10 because the y axis is at 10. Now from 4 to 6 millisecond this part I will be having 30 minus 5t. So these are the three time instant of the current and the voltage is LDI by dt. So I have to differentiate uh, this current with respect to time t. So if I differentiate the current with respect to time t for different time instant and substituting the value of inductor as 5 milli Henry, I will be getting the voltage for different time instant. Now I have been asked that for time 1 millisecond, time 3 millisecond and time 5 millisecond, what is the value of the voltage? So 1 millisecond means it is lying between 0 to 2. So the answer is 25. 3 millisecond is somewhere between 2 to 4. So answer is 0 the, of the voltage. 5 millisecond somewhere between 4 to 6. It is minus 25. So the answer is minus 25. In this way you can solve uh, the voltage given the current waveform. Problem 7. Given the waveform of the current, so here we have been given the current with respect to time for a 3 Henry inductor, you have to sketch the voltage waveform. So what is the output? Output is basically the voltage that you have to obtain. Now note here, the current is starting from minus 1. If you, if you are seeing, all the current was starting from the positive amount of the time in the previous problem. Now it is starting from minus 1. So we can split this in uh, different time zones from minus 1 to 0 and then from 0 to 2 and from 2 to 3 and then elsewhere. Okay. So how do you do that? Let us see that. So if this current equation is substituted in different time zones and then the voltage is obtained uh, by differentiating of voltage is equal to LDI by DT. I will be getting this waveform. Okay, this is up to you how you will you are going to get it because we have solved few problems. Now we have to note here that for time t less than uh, one second, less than one second, if you note down, the current is zero, so the voltage will also be zero in this interval. So here the voltage is zero. Some conclusion let us draw from this waveform. The current then begin to increase at a linear rate of 1 ampere per second. So if you see this current which is increasing at 1 ampere per second, constant voltage of LDI by DT we will get at 3 volt. That is 3 volt is the voltage which we are getting because the current is increasing linearly at a constant rate of 1 ampere per second. Then following two second interval what is happening in the following two second interval the current is constant so here if you see the current is constant and you know that we need a di by dt term then the current has to be vary with respect to time t but since the current here is constant i will be getting the voltage to be also constant so voltage is constant or rather i can say it is zero volt because the differentiation of any constant with respect to time t is equal to zero. So I am getting the voltage to be zero. Now the final from two second to three second you can see that the rate of change of the current with respect to time t is a reverse process of this which is minus one ampere per second which is yielding a voltage of minus three volt here. So here we were having plus three volt so here we will be having minus 3 volt and for all time t greater than 3 second the current is 0 so the voltage is 0. So here uh, we have not gone by the normal time division zone uh, division for right uh, for getting the voltage waveform rather we have observed this uh, current waveform to obtain this voltage waveform from the concept of how the current is increasing whether it is linearly increasing linearly decreasing or it is constant so you can obtain the current to voltage or voltage to current anything either from differentiation or from the integration uh, problem 8 the voltage across a 2 henry inductor 
is being given for a time zone of 0 to 50 millisecond with the knowledge that the current at a value of minus uh, 0 0.1 uh, millisecond the value of the current is 100 micro ampere calculate the current at time t equal to different time instant that is 0 millisecond 1.5 millisecond and 45 millisecond now you have to assume the passive sign convention for the uh, current directions passive sign convention i have already discussed you in the lecture class you can just go back if you have any confusion in that so what is we are going to do the general equation of the current is 1 by l integration of voltage and the initial value of the current for time t naught so if i integrate the voltage i am having one general uh, equation of the current for time t from 0 to 50 millisecond this is the general equation of the current now if i substitute the value of t equal to 0 uh, millisecond which is my first sub part that i need to determine i will be getting the current as minus 10.65 milliampere so once i substitute t equal to 0 in this uh, problem in this solution i will be getting minus 10.65 milliampere when i substitute the value 1.5 millisecond i will be getting the solution as minus 10.648 milliampere also if i substitute 45 millisecond i will be getting the equation of the current magnitude of the current minus 8.473 milliampere now why this problem is given and how this problem is can be interpreted or uh, uh, extended sometime what it will be given that you have you will be given the current at some instant of time so you have been given the current here 0 0.0545 millisecond the current is this 15 mill 1.5 millisecond the current is this and uh, 1.5 uh, the other one you have been 0 millisecond the current is this you have to obtain this current equation from the value of the current so you can go by the uh, reverse process also to get the current equation so the problem can be uh, given the voltage obtain the current value or some discrete amount of current is given to you at different time instant you have to determine the general current equation uh, problem ninth determine the current flowing through a 6 milli henry inductor if the voltage is given to you so here you have been given the voltage equation which is 5 volt and 100 sine 120 uh, pi t for time t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for time less than 0 so this is what you have been given you have to determine the current so the current is 1 by l integration of voltage with some initial value of the current you substitute the voltage to be 5 volt if i substitute the voltage to be 5 volt i will be uh, getting the equation of the current and the general equation of the current as 833.33 t so if on the other hand if i substitute the voltage to be 100 sine 120 pi t in this voltage equation i will be getting the current equation is this one so previously we were having to determine the current at different time instant here we are going to get the equation of the current for all time t greater than or equal to zero what is the fundamental equation of the current so that is what we are determining this is the last problem for today's tutorial you have been given a square voltage you see the voltage with respect to time for a 1 milli henry inductor what is the current waveform what type of current waveform you will be getting and what is the peak amplitude of the output current so you have to determine first the current with respect to time t what is the nature of the waveform and what is the peak amplitude of the waveform that you have to determine so what we can do is that we can write the equation of the voltage here first we have to do that equation of the voltage so you have been given a square type of voltage this one so this is basically a step voltage so we have studied the sinusoidal function you please revise that one so step voltage equation for different time instant we are writing the equation and then we know that current is 1 by l integration of vdt which will give me the equation of the current now see here this equation is basically the ram function that we have discussed in the sinusoidal function okay so we have the step function given 
integrating of step function we are having a ram function and the ram function is basically triangular in nature okay so we are getting a triangular in nature the waveform with a peak amplitude of 0.5 ampere so the answer to the problem was we are getting a triangular waveform with a peak amplitude of 0.5 ampere so today's tutorial was much on the basic concept of the current voltage relationship in the coming tutorial we will discuss the capacitor and then the voltage current relationship in the transient domain.